Walking back from university, I saw this guy, the one who started everything. There he was, lying on the floor, screaming and struggling against thin air, like one possessed. His eyes were wild and reflected his savage distress. After that, I always had the same strange dream. I could see myself lying on the floor, restless, with electronic cables springing out of my body. I couldn't focus anymore in class. At times, my mind went blank and I had sudden visions. One morning, upon touching the burning ceramic, I dropped my cup of coffee. The burn left a red mark on my palm. It felt like something strange was developing right under my skin. Over the next few days, the burn cracked open, causing a wound that revealed cold metal underneath. The doctor diagnosed me with severe hypochondria. The stress was causing hallucinations. I needed rest and medication. But I knew that something else was going on. Inside me, something was happening. Over time, other wounds started appearing. No one seemed to notice it. I was alone with myself. Alone with my new appearance. When I met Clara, her face was covered in bandages. She said she couldn't take it anymore, and that she'd rather hide it than not be able to recognize herself. She explained to me that we weren't the only ones, that mankind was facing some kind of epidemic. Those who suffered from it were slowly becoming statues, the remnants of a sleeping civilization. Mankind had reached the last step of its evolution. Men had once and for all torn themselves away from their nature. I'm writing so that we remember what we used to be.